When the scrape burn pot message appears, first protect yourself by wearing heat resistant gloves. Open the fire viewing door to access the burn pot grate surface. Using the burn pot scraper, pull the ashes that may be laying in front of the fire and let them fall into the ash pan. Now scrape the grate surface downward toward the auger. You do not want to scrape the fire out, just scrape under it. Any carbon deposits loosened at this time will be pushed out as new fuel is fed in. If the flame goes out during this process, close the door and let the fire get re-established. When the empty ash pan message appears, reduce the unit to a low burn before emptying the ash pan so it is cooler to handle. Wearing heat resistant gloves, scrape the loose ash from the burn pot, then remove the ash pan to empty it. Close the door while emptying the ash pan. Keep the ashes in a closed metal container away from combustible materials until the ash has completely cooled. Replace the ash pan and increase the burn as desired. Clean the viewing glass. This should not be done when the stove is hot. Do not spray liquids onto hot glass. Use a soft, non-synthetic cloth and either a vinegar and water mixture or a non-abrasive glass cleaner. Most times, just a dry cloth will work. You can also dip a damp cloth into the ash to help remove heavier buildup. After burning approximately one ton of pellets, you will see a message telling you to do a total clean to keep your stove running as efficiently as possible. To do this, first, shut down the stove by pressing the power icon. When the stove has completely cooled and stopped running, it is now safe to clean. To limit dust, run the combustion blower by touching the menu icon on menu 1. Touch the test icon, then touch the combustion fan icon one time. The combustion fan will run for approximately 3 minutes. Wearing heat resistant gloves, open the fire viewing door. Tap on the burn pot with the scraping tool. Then scrape the burn pot and ensure that the burn pot holes are free and clear of debris and carbon. Pay special attention to the lower corners next to the auger opening. Carbon deposits begin forming in this area. You can use the provided Allen wrench to clean the holes. Use a shop vac with a fine dust filter or ash vac and vacuum the debris from this area. Next, access the burn pot cleanout cover by loosening the two thumb screws. Clean the fly ash out of the burn pot. Vacuum debris from this area. Replace the cover when you're finished. Be sure the cleanout opening is sealed before tightening the thumb screws. In order to clean the flue, you will need to pull the insert out of the mounting frame. To do this, swing the cast iron doors outward and unlatch the spring latches. The insert can now be pulled out of the mounting frame. The insert is heavy and requires support when being pulled out. You can support it by using the optional service rail kit. After the first ton, we recommend that you clean the entire venting system using the appropriately sized flue brushes. In order to gain access to the combustion van, the ash pan, center medallion, and cast iron heat exchanger covers must be removed. To do this, open the front door and remove the medallion, lifting up on the two bottom corners of the medallion until it is higher than the top of the flame guide. Pull the bottom edge of the medallion front approximately one inch. Pull downward on the corners of the medallion until the top is released from the retainer that keeps the top aligned when in place. Note the heat exchanger covers will tilt to the front when the center medallion is removed. Remove the heat exchanger cover by lifting it upward and move the bottom edge front until it sits flat on the firebox bottom. Rotate the edge of the heat exchanger to the right until it can be lifted up and out. Now pull on the latch located on the right hand side of the firebox and remove the clean out combustion cover. This gives you access to the lower combustion chamber. Now remove the combustion assembly by pulling up on the combustion cover latch and pull the combustion assembly toward you and out. Clean the combustion fan blades with a clean paintbrush. Next we will clean the exhaust tube and flue. Enter the exhaust tube from the front right side of the unit. Extend the brush through the exhaust tube and into the flue. Brush or scrape the inside of the insert to remove fly ash, which is a fine residue left over from burning. The debris will fall into the ash pan. Vacuum fines and debris from the lower combustion chamber, combustion fan, and exhaust tube. Reinstall the combustion cover and clean out combustion cover. 
Note, when reinstalling the combustion cover assembly, make sure that you insert the bottom of the cover first prior to putting it into place. Reinstall the cast iron heat exchanger covers, then the center medallion. Replace the ash pan and close the front door. Generally, after burning every ton of pellets, we recommend that you clean the entire venting system. Your findings will help you judge whether this needs to be done after every ton, or more or less frequently. The frequency of cleaning depends largely on the quality of the pellets. For your convenience, your local Harman dealer offers these professional maintenance services.